This crossover has been actually really good so far. The characters are really fun, Sunraku especially, dude's a goat. And the grind for these crossover gems is quite real. Like, this is actually ridiculous what we have to go through right now. But one thing that I've seen people be kind of defied on was actually Siger Zero. So in this video, we're gonna check her out, tell you what I think about her, and some other things to go along with her. I've been using her quite a bit. We have almost 300 quest clears on her. Most of that is from, um, Crest Palaces, by the way. No 4 plus, just want to point that out now, as you can see. So she has three different abilities. Two of these abilities are insane. The first one is Attack Master. This is her unique ability. This doubles your super art damage the first time it's used, and and then whenever it's used the second time and they're on after, it's going to autofill your arc gauge by five for 20 seconds, which is really good. It gives her a battery. The duration on it is kind of low. I would love that to be maybe more of 30, 45 seconds, but five arc gauge for 20 seconds, still really good. Defense equipped CT speed up is also absolutely insane because what you can do is you can have this and then run something like Chu as a Nagi. That's 15% more equipped CT and then also run an equipment CT crest and you have so much much defense equip CT before you even get into a fight and let's say you use someone like War God Finn that's even more equipment CT and your defense equips are just zooming as you see with the skill art gauge art barrier and also art gauge to the entire team only 20 though kind of wish it was a little bit higher than that maybe 25 or 30 but 20 isn't bad especially for a 5k barrier the true art really good this buffs up her own damage by 100 and then buffs up everyone's damage by 30 percent based on the number of human allies so if you have four human allies on the team then you're going to be getting a total of 120 percent damage to everyone so she's actually going to be getting 220 which is disgusting because that works really well if you actually get her into her super art which mind you the attack master uh passive this is actually a 400k multiplier on your first use instead of 200,000, which is ridiculous. In terms of her slash, she has a five star physical, five star defense, and a four star defense. This is slot items here, as I mentioned before, she has really good synergy with True Izanagi. In terms of nuking with her for this physical slot, highly recommend anything that's gonna be giving her arc gauge, like a big burst of arc gauge along with damage. We just had a really good weapon come out, which is the God Grade Sword Ashura. Very, very strong. The five star defense in sustain. Really, you use whatever is going to be countering the boss you're fighting. Uh, that's what you always do with the defense slots. But if you're nuking, though, one of the best five-star defenses you can have for herself will be something like Black Trike. This is from the Black Rock Shooter collab. If you don't have this for nuking, you could also use something like Change of Pace. Four-star defense. Same thing as the five-star defense. You're looking to mainly counter whatever you're fighting. But if you're nuking, then use something like Relic Dola Armor to give you a 15% attack buff. Now, Crest is going to be Arcage up, attack up. And equipment CT. You already know. Can't have a showcase without the animations. And Psyker's animations, I haven't seen all the the only one I know for a fact is her super art, which I really like. But we have her attack skill here, just a huge needle bunk. <laughs> skill slash in front of her. Looks okay. We have the art, which is actually relatively quick. We have the true art, which is pretty quick too. Literally instant buff don't have to worry about anything the super art is really freaking cool the only thing is it does take a little bit of startup she transforms into like the dark knight version or whatever that is then she waits a second charges up the sword stabs it in the ground and then does the uh damage to everything this damage does not come through until the sword is in the ground by the way so if you nuke with her keep that in mind uh you won't see damage from her specifically until the sword is in the ground she's like relatively simple too kind of similar to that of sunraku i think she has a little bit more flair to her though I, I like her effects a lot more than sunraku sunraku's like wind kind of effects that he has looks a little weird to me and just kind of bad a lot of the light explosion stuff she has looks really cool i really love the super art mm, i feel like she's kind of like middle of the road pretty average maybe like a six possibly a seven I i'm gonna say about a six I super art i would say about like an eight but everything else you know about like a six now, team building with Saiger is kind of fun because she fits practically everywhere. One of my favorite nuke comps to run with Saiger is actually Miyu, Saiger, War God Finn, and Draken. This team comp is completely focused on buffing up Saiger to godly heights. Look at this. This is the practice stage right here. We pop off with everybody. This was early on in my testing to see how well this team does, and yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Everybody pops off with all their stuff. We use the super art with Saiger, and then as soon as that thing comes down, instant damage. We look at the detail screen real quick. Nine 
million from Cyber Zero. That's not enough. We took her up against her Special EX, or I guess the Shangri-La Frontier Part 1 Special EX. And I was like, okay, let, let's see how we do here. Because I wanted to know if we actually had enough art gauge to get War God Finn into his chore. And we technically did, but I have to change his AI just a little bit to where he will use his skill at least one time. So he'll be able to have his uh, chew art since Dignified Silence actually takes it away. But this is also just a complete murder check the detail screen on that one Siger again hitting 7.2 million damage i also went and did the rush 2 stage this is against the alabaster god the one who shows up at the end of like the cross the blaze saga this guy has some decent hp it's actually a little bit difficult but uh, i had to manual this nuke and this one worked really well too pretty much died instantly to a uh, Siger as well and we check out the damage charts Siger with 13 million damage in a matter of seconds and we're actually gonna be showing this sustain team live because I did record some stuff, but I don't know where it went. So um, we'll just redo it. To give you an idea of what to do with Siger, it's very simple to play this character. Even nuking with the character, you know, you're just flicking up and doing the super art. You want to pretty much pop off with the art every single time that you have it. As you see right now, we're trying to get into the super art. We're actually not going to go into the true art yet with Sinki because I want the team to be pretty much at full health. So we're able to go into true third eye. There we go. We can kind of like stop using the art if we want to with Siger, but I'm not going to do that yet. Yet. I'm actually going to keep using it uh, for right now. If you actually used Sestina back in the day, she plays really similar to that. We're actually going to use the true art there to buff up the damage and actually War God Finn should be really close to his super art I'm pretty sure there we go there's a super art and watch the damage boys watch the damage real quick I mean it's just War God Finn anyway right I mean just gonna absolutely decimate I'm gonna pop the true art again pop the uh art or that was the art right there from Saiger the true art from Sinki to give the damage mitigation and now we just kind of um wait and hope for the best boys and hopefully we don't get cooked because uh this is where it gets a little bit dicey especially towards the end here uh, we can die very easily as you see we're going to die but he has a blessed necklace so we shouldn't have to worry about that i'm gonna pop the super art here just to try to deal some damage with 100 defense ignore and stuff like that um we might fail i don't think no no no, no. We, we're in there we're in there we don't fail we don't fail we're in there i know if he gets to his next super art we probably will die but nah he, he's dead right here there's no way he survives yeah he, he's done for he's done for unless he unless he's tanking if he oh god dang it he is tanking bro if i die right here i'm gonna be so upset look at how much hp he has look at how much hp he has Sager's gonna die Sager's gonna die literally my luck my luck ladies and gentlemen literally dies while the, he has one hp I can't. I, I can't with this freaking guy. Look at the details though. Saiga with 14 million. War God Finn with 14 million as well. Overall, damage from both really freaking good. And also the sustain in that team, very strong as well, right? You saw the damage mitigation with Sengi, barriers and all that. Very, very good stuff here. This team would also actually probably work against stage five of... Uh, Earth Summoner's Road, pretty sure. I'm actually going to use Shiro instead of Senki to see if that works a little bit better. I think it will. Also, by the way, because I know probably some people are going to ask, does Shiro's barrier and Psyker's barrier stack? They do not. The only time this barrier will stack with another barrier is that if you're using a taunt tank with Psyker, then their barriers will stack on top of each other. Same thing with Shiro. His barrier should stack on a taunt tank's barrier. Let's see how the tank capabilities on this team is actually doing, because to be honest, we have a lot. I mean, we practically have the same amount of DR if you don't include like the physical resist that also a uh, Shiro applies. But we have 30% passively as long as we're in unlimited blade works. We have the physical res too, and we also have another defense slot, which is just more damage mitigation in general. So this team is definitely a lot more defensive than the last team. So you may see that we're taking like hardly any damage at all whenever we have all of our buffs up. Also, Melty's dress with damage mitigation. I forgot about that. You see, we're taking like, what is that? 20 damage? Yeah, 20 damage per hit, which is really really small pop up with everybody's stuff again right there we're gonna pop shiro's art right here just to give us the physical res refresh right there before we lose all of our art gauge he's gonna go back under we're going to pop off with viper and then we're still taking like no damage at all with this team i really would wish we could see like how much damage we're actually mitigating like what would be like the regular number we would take if we had no type of like damage mitigation on the team compared to like what we have right now because that's kind of crazy oh and i didn't have viper up that sucks you know what i'm gonna use my super art here with shiro because i have a good feeling oh wait i shouldn't have did that because i'm gonna get free okay let me let me make sure i pop up with that again i'm gonna also give him blessed necklace because i already know he's getting stunned he's getting stunned to kingdom come i'm gonna pop up with a super art here because 
I have a feeling that he might die before I can actually do it. There we go. Yep, he did. Yeah, that's pretty much Saiger. She's really freaking good. I love this character so much. I think a lot of people are sleeping on her because she's not like, you know, a crazy arch or anything, but she is really freaking strong. Um, with the art gauge, with the art gauge, with the barrier, with the damage buff as well from the true art, uh, she has just a lot of stuff going for it. The defense slots are very good, along with also the uh, buff right here, where is it? The 20% equipment ct for defense equips very very strong she's literally like the modern day sestina which is amazing yeah that's gonna be it man thank you all for hanging out it's been your boy op if you enjoyed this video have me check out either one of the other videos probably on the screen right now great content guarantee you love them oh and one more thing before you leave don't forget to drink water